Hey guys, it's Candace from Beacon Hill Books. I was thinking I should really do a series, Messy Hair Don't Care, because every video I do, my hair is like the wreck of the Hespers. And, you know, that's just how I roll. That is just how I roll. I wanted to bring to you today, in hopes and aspirations, that it will also help me put these books in the forefront of my mind. Uh, my net galley reads that I have requested and in all cases but one not read yet. Um, there's quite a few coming out shortly. And I have mostly historical fiction. There's one memoir and one mystery slash historical fiction, but historical mystery. Um, so I'm going to try and go in order of publication date, and uh, let's just get started. The first book that is going to be released on the 6th of February is A Forest a forest in the Clouds, My Year Among the Mountain Gorillas in the Remote Enclave of Diane Fossey by John so. Fowler. This is like a science type memoir. Um, I was thinking of using this as my read harder challenge book about nature. Um, so this book follows a main character, uh, probably John, um, who goes to the remote uh, mountain gorilla camp in Rwanda. Um, when Diane Fossey was there. Now, I did not know that Diane Fossey got murdered, but according to the little blurb on the book, he gets sent prior to her murder. It sounds like he gets to know her and um, goes to the research center and some shenanigan get shenanigans going on that he divulges. Um, and I assume it leads up to her murder in the book. So, that one, again, is being published on the 6th. Um, the second book that's coming out is being published on the 7th, and this is a um, nonfiction. Oh, I missed one. This is a nonfiction book. It's called Our Native Bees, North America's Endangered Pollinators, and the Fight to Save Them by Paige Embry. And it, you know, a lot of people, when they talk about bees in the colony collapse disorder um, are thinking most primarily about honeybees, but this actually is a do with the native bees. And uh, Paige Embry goes around and talks to a lot of bee experts, including some local grassroots type experts. Um, and it just sounded intriguing about her adventures of um, following some of the native bees, some that are considered very rare and um, I think what we could do about, you know, the problem that we have found ourselves in. That is Our Native Bees, and it's pub being published on the 7th of February. The next book is, um, an historical fiction book called Renoir's Dancer, The Secret Life of Suzanne Valadon by Catherine Hewitt. This follows, uh, Suzanne... She is the illegitimate, illegitimate daughter of a provincial linen maid who becomes fam a famous model for the Impressionist painters. Um, obviously, she's probably most known for one Renoir's dancer. I don't know if she's in other paintings, so I have to find that out. But later, she also becomes a painter herself. So um, I've read quite a few art history books, and I really enjoy finding out more about um, you know, the paintings and the painting subjects and how they get along with the painters. And so, um, I will be definitely reading that. Um, so that's again, Renmar's Dancer and it's out on the 27th of February. The next book is, um, White Houses by Amy Bloom. That one I spoke about in my recent video about that I had finished. Um, and that book, I'm not going to go into much detail. It's just a historical fiction book about uh, Lorena Hickok, who was 
Eleanor Roosevelt's girlfriend while part um, part of the time she was in the White House. Um, so I'll link that video, and that's due out on the 18th. Sorry, that wasn't in order. The next book is the The Egyptian Enigma by L. G. M. Owen. I also talked about the first book in this series in my last video. Really enjoyed it. It's a historical mi uh, mystery. So this is the third book in the series. Um, it has to do with our Dr. Elizabeth Pym, and this time she is in Egypt. She's trying to figure out what's happening with some cryptic symbols she finds and some uh, a hidden cache of mummies and she's trying to figure out the connection between that and um, the last female pharaoh as well as there's always something going on within her own family and in her own personal life that's something she has to also work out um, so that's going to be out on March 1st and again, that's Egyptian Enigma. I think if you like cozy mysteries, you really like this. At, there was no approval when I got this um, NetGalley, so I highly recommend you pick that one up. The next book is also historical fiction. It was I Was Anastasia by Ariel Lahan. Um, this is about a young woman is being she gets pulled from the canal and at in freezing water. Um, she had looks similar to Anastasia and Romanoff and she has scars all over her body um, so nobody of course believes her at first there's a dual narrative and it kind of follows the woman as she got pulled out from the canal and then what happened to Anastasia and it spans 50 years in three continents so it sounds very exciting I don't know anything about the Romanoffs I want to read the Romanoff sisters and I think this will be a great book for me to get into. So that's I Was Anastasia and it's out March 27th. The last one is The Phantom Tree by Nicole Kornick. This is also historical fiction but heavy on the fiction because I think it has time travel in it. Um, it follows the main character, Allison Bannister. She's in the antique shop and she stumbles upon a painting of what they proclaim is Anne Boleyn, but she knows that it's not Anne Boleyn. It's actually Mary Seymour, who was the daughter of Catherine Parr. And the reason why she knows this is that somehow Allison was there in Wolf Hall in 1557 and somehow got yanked out of her time and so this painting seems to be some sort of a key to the secret of what happened um to allison and possibly um mary seymour as well this says it's a book for fans of kate morton philippa gregory and barbara erskine i don't know how to pronounce that um so yeah let me know if any of these books sound interesting to you, and I will be talking to you all soon. Thanks.